Hello, 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 everyone. It's Kim from KNRP here in southeastern Manitoba. It is a beautiful, sunshiny day. Unfortunately, it is minus 27 degrees Celsius, which means it is minus 39 with the wind chill, which means in Fahrenheit it is minus 17, and with a wind chill it is minus 38 Fahrenheit. So looks are deceiving. It is, like I say, it's beautiful, it's sunshiny. It would be a lovely day to be out there if it wasn't so crazy cold. All right. So today, what I was thinking of doing was I am low on painted envelopes. I'm doing swaps in Joni's group for ATCs. I like to send things out in pretty envelopes. So I thought today we could do some mark making on envelopes. I also have my bin of uh, scraps that I do up. You know, you pour your muck water on it, you spatter it with coffee, you spatter it with paint, you stamp on it, that kind of thing. So I've got that to add some marks to as well. Jean had sent me a lovely video of a lady doing painting, a painting of a lion's head, and it was stunning. But she used all kinds of different things for mark making to get the textures and stuff. One of them was like a kid's truck with big tires and deep treads. So, of course, I went looking through what's left of the toy box I have here. And I did find tires. It's not attached to a truck. I got Ron to uh, put them on a dowel for me so that I could, well, I'm not going to go like this because you're going to get paint all over it. So, you know, I, I will be using this for mark making. It leaves wonderful, wonderful marks, actually. I also found this, uh, it was part of the stand up. Hey, Don, welcome. Hi, Anne. Welcome, welcome. So this makes lovely, it's like a stencil. I'm using it. Of course, I've got some Lego because it leaves wonderful marks as well. So I raided the toy box. I found some fun things to play with. Like I say, I need to do some envelopes because I'm low. And so these are uh, the ones I pulled out from the toys. There's Lego. There's one of the these things. Uh, this is oh truck tires. Just love the truck tires. So there's a variety of things to make marks with that I grabbed out of the toy box because my grands are way old for this stuff now. And then because we had done those gorgeous flowers, I decided to do a black and white page. I was just mark making yesterday and wondering what I was going to do today amongst my desk doesn't look any different than it did last week at this time even though I cleaned it you know you know how things go right I did a couple more snippet rolls I have been crocheting because I've got that sale coming up at the local store that takes Aria stuff in so I've got a free spot there for a week can't go wrong right so I've been doing a bit of crocheting for that. Um, my yes man, today is actually dress up your pet day. Remember I'm doing that celebration calendar? It's dress your pet day. I don't have a pet. I was going to get, you know, maybe make some hats for these guys. Never did get around to it. Hey, Jan, welcome, welcome. So I pulled out some paint. I've got my brayer. Of course, you don't need a brayer. I pulled out my mock uh, gel plate, one of them. Just because I'm going to use it as a palette and, and as a stamp pad for the paints for putting the marks on the envelopes. And that's about it. I hope everybody's feeling good today and having fun. We're going to start with some green. We're going to start with green. A nice dark green. So I pulled out all my toys to play with for mark making. There is a dry thing in here, and it just shot paint all the way over there. I don't know if you could see it, but I've got white spatter across. <laughs> so I'm just spreading it out on the plastic. I've got some scrap paper that I can run the brayer off. And, of course, this stuff I'll probably end up tearing up and throwing in the muck bin, right? Louise Heinzel did a video on this sometime last year on how to dress up your scrap. 
And that's what led me to produce these things. I'm letting paint dry here, guys. So I did a whole bunch. You can see the background. It's grungy and ugly looking. And some of the scraps have the same marks on it. Hey, Dusty, welcome, welcome. So anyway, I can discuss that more right away. I've got paint there. I don't know what we're going to start with. Let's start with these tires because seriously, these tires are so cute. When you drag them across something. Kids toy truck tires. So again, we're doing envelopes. I like having pretty envelopes to mail stuff out in. Anybody who has received Happy Meal for me knows that I like having interesting envelopes. And we just put little marks on because we're going to be adding to it on and on and on, right? How is everyone today? It's nice to see you here again, Dusty. And the fun thing about doing envelopes is they have don't have to be perfect. I've got one here that I started that it wasn't decorated enough. That's interesting. That's really interesting, those truck tire things. Yep, Kim's a child, and she admits it. So I still have some paint on here. Let's use one of the stamps that I've got. Let's see if I can get some nice marks from that. Well, it's a little fading now, but that's okay. So we will just take my water spritzer. You're doing well? Cold and windy again? Yeah, it's cold here too. Okay. You're welcome. Ron just brought me a nice cup of tea. Yeah! I have to go to the thrift store and find some like Tonka type trucks with big tires for that. So I just spritz this with some water. We're going to use this stamp again. Because we can. All right. So I'm going to take two now and put them together. So it's only halfway. You know, we're playing. We're playing. Yeah, I love the painty envelopes too. I really do. All right. So now I've got a very interesting kind of pattern thing here. I'm going to pull it like a gel print. Uh, okay. We're going to go here. I love sending out fancy envelopes. Well, they're not fancy. They're just seriously, you know, <laughs> they're different. And this is mindless crafting, right? Sometimes you just need to do some mindless crafting. And this one, I think I'm just going to put, see if I can get this end. All right. All right, all right. Now, you can always come in with a stamp or something else if you want something a little bit crisper on there. I've got no room here, but that's okay. I'm going to add some yellow to the screen. Oh, I forgot to add that to uh, my muck bin of scraps beside me. I will get, I will add to that right with the next. I'll pull a big stamp out and do that. And the fun thing is, is we're just playing. We are just playing. Having fun and experimenting, right? That's what it's all about. Uh, what do we want to use? Let's use a big stamp. Yeah, you know what? This is what I used, the kind of thing I used before I bought gel plates. So basically, it's a piece of foam inside a plastic Ziploc. 
that was probably a little dry, but we're going to try it. Oh, yeah, not quite wet enough. We'll add more paint. But even when it's just like this, and it's like a shadowy, very light print, you're going to be adding things on top of it, right? So... Uh, bring her off. Bring her off. Bring her on. You know. No room to work. And of course, I'm going to use this. I can make some wonderful leaves with that. Did anybody do uh, snippet strips? That's better. You can't see it great because it's yellow on white, but it's fun. We're going to do this one on the back. And I'm going to put two together. Fabric snippet roll. All right. I would like to do a fabric snippet nip it roll as well and this is becoming a very interesting block thing there whoa that's okay <laughs> just interest just adding interest to the envelopes I'm going to pull this at like a gel plate print thing we just said. Oh, I didn't bring my Baron. It's okay. We've made a few snippet rolls. All right. I'd like to use snippet rolls on the pockets that we're, work we're going to be doing. But if you don't have a snippet roll, that's absolutely fine, too. You'll decorate your pockets the way you decorate your pockets. Can you see? All right, all right, all right. So we have green and yellow. Let's add some blue to that. Hey, Belinda, welcome. Welcome, welcome. I'm playing <coughs> Make a Mess of the Desk Day. I'm painting envelopes. I have a zero room. I have so much stuff crowded, but the yes men are here and the mushrooms here. Nice to see you. I hope you're having a good weekend. Getting some interesting print texture on this. I want to use this paper, but where? To the side, to the side. Let's grab this fun thing. This was a draining back thing I got at Dollarama or someplace like that. So we're going to put that down on the paint. Yeah. <laughs> it is nice to see them back. My son-in-law is looking for strapping. Look at that nice wavy stuff there. Okay, now we start going back the other way. Whoop, 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 whoop. And we've got nothing on the front here. Let's see what I can get. Am 
Mark making is so much fun. I don't know. I, I really love mark making. I could spend hours doing this. Okay, I do spend hours doing this. See? So you start building on what you've already got, and it just adds interest. So this is still a little bit wet, so I am going to take prints from this. And yeah, I kind of treat it like a gel plate. Anybody been playing this weekend? And if so, what have you been playing? Robots? Ah, oh, nice. I was thinking of doing robots with you guys today, but when I was uh, doing some cleaning, I realized, hey, you're really low on envelopes. Better do something about that. Let's do the back. Let's do the back. The card challenge, nice. Yeah, I, I spent the morning and yesterday crocheting because I've got that, um, like I say, I'm at the store. So this morning I was doing scrubbies, like for pots and pans. Yesterday I was working on wings and tails for the little birds. All right. So this is a bit of a mess, which is fine. I don't mind it. I like having the artifacts underneath. I really, really do. Use another blue. And I'm just using dollar store acrylics for this. Like I say, if I'm working on a canvas or, you know, something that's a little bit more upscale than just doing these, I will use like golden paints or Liquitex paints. But if I'm just playing like this, we just play. I wonder if this is going to work. Let's see what this does. Let's take a piece of paper first and test it. Didn't get a good print. I do hot glue gun blob things with, you know, Jesus stamps doesn't give me a nice enough print even for my envelopes. I'm not pleased with that. We'll go back to using these things. Because as I say, I'm fortunate enough that my husband makes me these wooden stamps. So I have a variety to play with. Selling cards with coordinated painted envelopes. No, I have not. I have not. That could be fun.
That could be a lot of fun. Oh, let's do half and half again. I like it when it's half and half like that. It seems to work nice for me. So now what I'm going to do, move that out of my way, bring up the muck scraps. Whoa! No room on my desk for them, so that could have ended up in my lap, which is fine. And then we turn, switch them around a little bit. No, I haven't thought of that. Hand painted postcards and a focal point. That could be very interesting. What I need is an idea for using those little cluster things that I make out of this stuff. These ones. So, you know, I use a lot of brown paper usually on top of my desktop and I do gray offs and that kind of thing on it. So I tore up a bunch and I made this kind of the... Um, scrap bits and so when you do the scrap bits like this you tear them up and you put them in a tray a lot of times i just do a big batch sheet of paper on the floor throw them on the floor and that way i can dribble and spatter as much as i like so you've got your bits all torn up shapes whatever so then you use your muck water and you drizzle your muck water on it you let it dry so you can see that let me see if I can find one. This one had pink and blue muck water dripped on it, so it turned purple. You can see the pink clearly on this one. I saved my muck water. You know, when you rinse your brush and you've got that muck water, hey, Teresa, welcome, welcome. So I save that. If I get a really cool color, I save it and I use it for this. Yeah, I use the brown stuff too when it turns brown. It does add something to it. This has glue on it, and I noticed I got it really wet, and I had to peel a bunch of other papers off of it because it activated the glue. But it's okay. But, I mean, see, even on book page, if you're jizzling stuff on it, it gives it that oldish kind of texture. So then, back to Louise Heinzel. This is, I, I learned this from her. So you have all your scrap in a bit and you drizzle muck water on it. You let it dry, you stir it up, you pour a different color muck water on, let it dry, spread it all out, spatter it with a paintbrush and paint, um, let it dry, put it back in the bin, add more muck water, drip coffee on it, spritz it with alcohol inks, and because they're stacked up like this, the whole page doesn't get covered in ink. Um, so you do that until you're happy with them. And yeah, sometimes you have to peel them apart because they do stick together. But it's okay because then you get the artifacts happening of remnants from the other pages, right? So, okay. So then this is all scrap that I'd had in a previous bin. So I made little clusters on it. Outlined some of it. Um, this has like textured paper on it that I threw in the bin. So I've got all these lovely little clusters. I even have some that I've done stitching on. I've used some gold and spattered them. You know, you can add stenciling to it afterwards. I did that with some of these. Um, where's that one? This one actually has, remember we were talking about stitching just something with some bits of lace and whatever. So I did that. I stamped it with um, 
black paint and one of those rolls from an adding machine or whatever because it's got the different put it together so i've got this entire bin and i have to admit this one here is my favorite no where is it anyway i actually took uh whole punch confetti and, and glued them down on the strings from the sewing. So, so anyways, I have a bit of these that I think maybe I'm going to put them on something. I don't know what I'm going to put them on. <coughs> Back to this. Let's spritz this. Thanks, Jen. I'm just getting uh, stuff ready for decorating envelopes, Teresa. I'm low on painted envelopes. I'm going to add more green to this one. This is going to be a little bit wetter because I spritzed it. Hey, why don't I do a brayer off onto this? Ha! Whoa, that's really dark. <laughs> but that's okay. Let's do it on top of this blue. So, since I'm doing the brayer off, I had the blue and I put the green on top. I'm going to use those for some leaves. Nothing gets wasted, right? This is pretty wet. What do we want to do with it? How about taking a Lego... And doing some dots with a Lego brick. Look how cute those are. I like it. Oh, okay. We're just playing. We're just making marks all over this stuff. Yeah, they do say Lego on them, so you have to get them really wet if you don't want the Lego words to show. And the nice thing is, is I can do this entire stack of envelopes with the same items because they're not all going to the same person, right? So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Your subscriptions are being dropped? Oh, really? That's wild. I wonder if it's not necessarily that your subscriptions are being dropped, but um, YouTube's doing that algorithm thing again where they figure you got all your people just because you did a stream or a hop. And then they take subs away from people. Who was talking about that? I think Becca was talking about that in one of her lives. I like the way this this is turning out. I might just oh, oh we got a bit of a stick there. That's okay. I'm gonna put those right in the middle of that smudgy green stuff. Really? That's really wild, Teresa. Well, it's not because I sent you away. I want you to know that. Oops. I slipped. It's all right.
You do have to be careful when you do the envelopes to make sure that where the address is going is clear so that these things don't interfere with it. Yeah, I was in the New Year's hop that um, Miriam and Raul set up. So I wonder, wonder. All right, this is the, I did the entire stack of envelopes with this little bit of paint and my Lego stamp. Let's pull this, see what that looks like. The leaves that will create. I'm excited. Okay, if we're going to put red, red orange on top of this, then it will be what it will be. You've been sub to Beth since she started on YouTube? I wonder. I wonder if that's what's happening. Do I have a, I'm, I'm taking my mouse over to the other side here. I want to check out my channel. No, you know what? It says that I've got lots of subscribers since I did that hop. I'm really sorry that happened to you. I don't know. Teresa's wasn't a recent subscription from the hop. Teresa has been here for a while helping me celebrate my uh, messy desk. I don't know. Don't know. Rare. So yeah, this, um, Dusty, this is like using a gel plate. You don't get all the artifacts from underneath like you do with the gel plate. It doesn't pick up clean. I do have to wash it off, if that makes sense. Okay, what are we going to use this time? We need something little. How about, let's put red dots on. Red polka dots. No, you're not new to any of us. Oh. These are fun foam circles that I glued onto a piece of wood. So again, oh, I lost you. Where did you guys go? Did I just turn my entire thing off. <gasps> oh, I hit my mouse and you guys all disappeared. Almost. It's just blobs. So you can come back and embellish those if you want. You can leave them as they are. You know, I'm just throwing ideas at you, and I love it when you take it and make it your own. Yeah. I don't understand why some subscribers are being dropped by YouTube. Very strange. Very, very strange. Okay. 
going through the hearts, guys. I'm going to have a nice collection of envelopes to send my ATCs out in. That excites me. So, like I said, I can come back and doodle that with a black marker or something if I want. Not necessarily going to, but I could. Okay, coffee's a good thing. Ron just brought me a cup of tea. Because I forgot to, well, I didn't forget to bring something down. I opened this yesterday and forgot about it, and it's flat. <laughs> flat, flat, flat. I like the prairies. See, now I'm starting to pick up some artifacts from below. I've got a bit of blue in that red. That's what adds the interest. Well, it all adds interest, but if you know what I mean, gives it a bit of depth or something, maybe, is what I'm looking to say. I really like those truck tire things, though. Oh, you know what? Wouldn't it be fun to do Guna birds with truck tires over them like roadkill? Never mind. <laughs> okay, I'm not getting much paint now. I was thinking I should do, like for Halloween, a set of roadkill guinea birds. Take that, these truck tires that I used for printing and roll the truck tires over one of the guinea birds like it's roadkill. Or maybe one of the monsters. I've got lots of monsters. I just, you know, when I was cleaning this desk, I found another sheet of monsters glued down onto black paper that are not even cut out yet. They're embellished, but they're not cut out. Well, see, my paint's just about dry. I've got one more envelope, and I need to add paint. So we'll see what we get. It's okay. It's wonderful. Okay, let's do a bright color again now. I've got neon pink. Okay, Belinda. <laughs> She's running away from me now. I'm scaring her. Shaking up the paint. That's neon pink. It's it's bright. It is bright and happy. Okay, I'm gonna do stamping. Two more sets of the stamping go round kind of thing. And then I am going to pull out a stencil and we'll do a little bit of stencil on top of some of this. See, that's a very, very bright pink. I see flowers in my future, flowers and leaves. I think what I want to do is get one of those kids' toys and do it. Do it that way. What about this one? 
This one's always very nice. Now this one I consider the front, I can leave as is. It gives me room for the address and for the return address. The back just needs some love. Oh, you know, probably. <laughs> probably. I started going, taking my mail to the next town. So if anybody is waiting for mail from me, I'm going to the next town to mail stuff now. And because it is minus 39 Celsius with the wind chill, I'm not taking anything out to the mail today. Just say, in case anybody was wondering. These are really bright and beautiful. Okay, let's do something with this because we've got all this smudgy stuff. Ooh, I'm going to do a set of four corners. Hmm, maybe. I'm going to do a set of four corners. Running out of room. Okay, maybe three corners. Maybe three corners. Like that. Do it like that. <laughs> that sounds too cold. Your weather is not very warm either, Jan. Ron was laughing at you guys again. Well, even in Fahrenheit, it's minus 39. So, yeah, it is uh, pretty bitter. Pretty darn bitter. What happens? Put it on top of the dots. You know, it kind of looks nice on top of the dots. Oh, this one. This whole envelope looks totally naked. You're not enjoying the cold? No. But it's damp there too, right? So that must make for more aches. When it's damp. <laughs> yeah. It's a little nippy out there. Okay. So I've got lots of those stamped. I've got a few left, but I'm going to take this and do this and the thing with this is yeah you're gonna have paint on both sides you just decide which side you like best right No, I wouldn't want to uh, work out outside in that, too. Actually, there's mandate here that if it's a certain temperature, people can't work outside. Which is a good thing, you know. Hey, Andrea, welcome, welcome. I am decorating envelopes today. Just doing some mark making. You got your coffee? Awesome, Teresa. Seriously, guys, I cleaned my desk 
And I don't know if you saw the picture of how nice my desk looked, but that entire left side, that entire left, you can't even see me, that entire left side is probably 14 inches tall, packed. Wow. Look at that. <gasps> Look at that. Cute tags. Cute tags. Oh, I'd love to see some cute tags. I really like that print. It's got a lot of the artifacts. This was not intentional. I don't really do intentional art. <laughs> Those of you who don't really know me, I don't. Oh, thank you, Andrea. Yes, please do remember the thumbs up. Don't forget, Tuesday we're doing pockets. I posted the list of supplies. I can't get to my garbage. Um, <laughs> surprise! I posted the list of supplies in the community tab here on YouTube. It's also posted to meet your creativity. Sorry, my uh, sinuses are acting up. I'm feeling a little drowny. Brayer. So this is a red-orange. I'm putting it over that pink. I'm going to flip over a bunch of these papers in the muck bin, and I'm going to just run the brayer over it quick. Ooh, that all got tangled up in there. Brayer page, brayer page. See, it's much more orange than red. It's very strange, but it makes for some lovely flowers. I might come over that with a stamp, one of the wooden stamps, to give it different texture for flowers. I'm going, oh, look, the front of this envelope isn't even touched. Well, not acceptable. We're going to put them like this. And we're going to go like that. Yeah. Love you just the way you are. Love you all just the way you are. Uh oh, got the desk. <laughs> That's okay. Very true, because I mean, seriously, we're not going to change for each other. I'm too old to change for anybody. I really am. Oh, that's from. All right, so I've got lots of this stuff left. What are we going to do with it? I'm going to go back to these bear offs, and I am going to put... The thing is, is you can't really see it on the red, but if I'm doing flowers, it does show... Exactly, Teresa. Exactly. Let's add some on this yellow here. You know those flowers that um, Jean and I did the other day on, well, I did mine on book page and she did hers on canvas? I'm going to do another series of those flowers because I really liked them. 
I really, really did. Okay, I'm gonna pull that. See what we get. See what we get. We do have an amazing community. An absolutely fabulous community. I am so honored to be part of this community. <laughs> Die cut foam would make some... Are you talking like that fun foam, that sheet foam stuff that um, kids use? Like the, the uh, you know, that... The one like I did the dots out of. I think it could. I have used a styrofoam plate, like the center of styrofoam plates on my die cut machine. Oh, look at that. Can't you see some of those fantasy flowers out of that? Okay, I'm going to have to try that. I have so much fun foam, my word. So much. Let's add yellow. Thanks, Dawn. It is a lovely piece. And as I say, I'm going to do more of those flowers because I don't have enough. Uh-huh. I need to know, are you guys like me where you do something and you absolutely love it, so then you make a hundred of the darn things, and then you go, now what? No, I use the styrofoam. I use it. Where did I put it? Actually, let me just grab, 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 grab this one. I'll show you. I use it like a texture plate. I put it through my embossing folder. And I found that putting it through the embossing folder, I get some very interesting texture plates. Not sure how well the yellow is going to go. I'm just adding some grayer marks onto this muck bin beside me because I can. I'll roll the rest off on here. Glue with Mod Podge. Awesome. Friday playing with Jean. I actually uh, finished my one of my other rude books. I've got one more. Okay, so I put this. This is styrofoam plate. I put it through the embossing folder. See, look at the nice printed leaves. Yellow wasn't the greatest color to use, but see how nice it works? Yeah, I could have done that, but I didn't, but I could. I get excited. I did a whole bunch that day. And it does, you know, and a lot of times I take my embossing folder and I put paint on it and I use it like a stamp. I figured try it this way so that I'm not constantly having to wash my embossing folders, if that makes sense.
but it does, you know. I'll do it again, but with a different color so that you guys can actually see it. I really like it. Seriously. Uh, let's see if I can pull just that corner and I'm going to try pulling it on that blue. Yeah. You're in lurk mode on the balcony. All right, Marguerite, thanks for coming. I am just playing today. I'm mark making and making a mess. Okay, so let's add some of that orangey red to that. Because we can. So it's just a little bit more on the yellow side for the orange. Let's take another paper and sprayer, roll that off because that is lovely. Oh, I see so many fantasy flowers in the future coming up, guys. I really, really do. Okay, now we're going to put this down on here again. And I'm going to do more envelopes. Well, I have a greenhouse that I like to go sit in. And we finally got an extender for our internet. So I could actually be out there. And watch some lives from there. Whoa, smeared paint. There. You can see that better. So I like these tools that do double duty. <laughs> like the embossing folder. Yeah, I love the embossed papers. But the fact that I can make texture plates. Is a real added bonus for me. Which green? Oh, a greenhouse? No, it's actually purple. But I do my bedding plants in there. And in winter, we go out there with, uh, we put a heater on to take the chill off. And we sit out there and do puzzles in the afternoon just so that we can get some sun. Your house is white with green trim. My house is like a tealy green. But it's got brick on it, and the brick is quite orange. I'm just going to add this to this one, and I'm going to call this one little envelope complete. So there's the front. Left enough room for addresses and stamps. And that's the back. And, of course, one of my little... Uh, stick angels or whatever goes on the back. My house has a fab garage door. It certainly does. And thank you. I love my garage door. I admit it. And I need just a little something down here yet, I think. I really like that. I really have to admit I like it. I like it. I like it. 
All right, I've got just a little bit of that left. Then I have to use a stamp. Let's find a cool stamp. Let's use this stamp. Awesome, awesome, awesome. The inside of my house has a lot of painting on it. I have butterflies in what's supposed to be the dining area, but it's actually just behind my kitchen island. My bathroom has hot air balloons. Linda, does Howard have a website? Lisa Frank, really bright stickers. You know what? <laughs> the neighbor across from me is probably unimpressed. But the way I look at it, she's looking onto my garage door. So she gets to see it in winter when everything is so white. So I'm, I'm not whatever. <laughs> you know, just whatever. He hasn't posted anything in a while. You should post his site and meet your creativity. I love his photography. Well, that turned out kind of mucky, but that's okay. All right, all right, all right. So, you know, I'm gonna consider the majority of these done just the way they are. So I'm gonna put this away. Well, I'm gonna put them over here to dry. <laughs> this I am going to put away. That would make nice marks on that muck stuff I've got happening in the tray here. I might have to come back and do that later. These can go away. The brayer can go away. Paint can go away. Look, guys, I'm cleaning my desk. I'm actually putting stuff in the bins where they belong. Who am I and what have I done with Kim? Right? I, oh, see, I didn't even use this one. Ah, it's okay. All is good. All is good. Right. Okay, so that's all to the side now. Now I'm going to take a stencil. Let's grab. Let's grab. This one's got some nice little stars on it. I think I'm going to use that. Ha! Teresa, you have no idea how long it actually took me to clean that beast beside me. I am going to take a marker. What color marker? Orange? We could take orange. So I'm going to look at it. And I think maybe I want to do an orange star in this bottom corner. Again, watching so that I don't. Go into where the addressing should be. 
Now, what, isn't that something cute to get in the mail? That one's done. Let's do it right, right over here. Use that same star. Don't know that I'm extraordinary, but you know what? I kind of hope that as this goes through the mail, that it even makes one of the postal workers smile. Maybe we'll do three stars. Look, there's littler ones. And one more. We'll do one more over here. -ish. There. I try not to do things on the same line, if possible. Well, it's close, but it's okay. Cute. You're going to lower Kendra? Okay. Yeah. Exactly. It's all collage fodder then, right? Totally collage fodder. Uh, we'll put it on the back here because the, this back is kind of naked. But that's okay. They don't have to be to the nth degree. You do whatever makes you, you know, one stamp of paint on the back of the envelope, add something. Just add something. I'm, I'm just trying to decide if I want to do front or back on this one. I think the front looks good. I'm going to put it on the back. I'm going to put it here. Just there. Now, as I say, of course, if you're bored, you can come in and add polka dots. You can doodle on them. Whatever. You See, this one's front is still kind of really there. So I'm going to Just do orange star here. It's not going to interfere with the address there. Maybe two more little ones. One down here in the corner. And of course, these are wild. <laughs> wild colors. I didn't go for any matchy matchy stuff. Because that's not me. But it's going to be fun. You know, I, I just hope that whoever gets them, it brings a smile to their face. I don't stick things on my envelopes other than my little angel on the back or stick lady on the back. Because I'm worried about stuff coming off in machines and, you know, a machine having to get shut down. It's just me. I don't know. I've, I've never had anything come off in the mail, but I don't want to. Does that make sense? You need to decorate some envelope, envelopes. They're fun. I, I just... I just think that it also increases the anticipation of opening what's inside something so wild, right? One of my friends that I had sent some mail to, um, he says, as soon as I saw the envelope, I knew who it was from. So, you know, that, that, that kind of made me feel good that he knew. They would make you smile. Awesome. 
basket is gift wrapping in your meal. Never thought of it like that, Adam. Thank you. Okay, well, I've got you guys here. Another thing we should discuss is if we really do want to do a Zoom play date and when we would like to do it. Anyone? 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 Thoughts? Because then I would start working on learning how to get that set up. It is a true happy meal. I'm going to change colors. Uh, I need another happy color. What about this lime green? You crash at 7 and the TV's all... Okay. Daytime. Anyone else have, I could definitely do it during the day. Oh, the green is lovely. But it bleeds through. It bleeds through. This one bled through onto the front. You can see where I was a little heavy with it. Did they all do that? Yep. <laughs> Sharpies bleed through. That's okay. I'm not worried if you guys aren't. We could definitely do during the day. Oh, that's where the stamps go. That's okay. Uh, single digit here. You had to go start the car. Yeah. It does. It does, Teresa. It does. This doesn't really have much on it. Let's uh, do a nice green star in this corner. So yes, I could have stenciled that with paint and put it on. This is just as much fun. Oh, look at this front. Oh, it's naked. I'm going to put that aside so that I can add more to it. And this one, too. You know what? Maybe I'll just add stars to it. Because they don't have to be loaded, Kim. You don't have to go over crazy, right? You're back to the balcony? Okay. Rest up, Teresa. Morning, early afternoon is good for you. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So then why don't we do like a Thursday afternoon? I was looking at Thursday afternoons. I need some background company while I was playing. And I think Janet Young is the only one that streams Thursday afternoons. And I'm not sure if she actually streams or what do you think? Thursday afternoon, guys? I wonder if we try it for the first Thursday in February. I don't know what date that is. I need a calendar. Let me look at the calendar. Nope, that's not what I wanted.
Okay, the first Thursday in February is actually February 1st. She does Monday afternoons, but I think that, I don't know. Like I say, I was looking for somebody to have on while I was playing, and um, she was the only one that was on. And does that work for you? Anybody else? Because I think I have to set it up and then invite you guys. Is that how it works? And we won't do a fort. We won't do a blanket fort. We'll just get together and, and play and visit and have tea and... Okay, 1 p.m. My time is 2 p.m. for you. That would be 11 o'clock in the morning for you, Jan. Belinda, are you around? That's fine for you, Jan. You would be free to join. I would love to have you join. We're just thinking of doing, um, kind of getting together and crafting and visiting so that we're all on at once with camera and... Just playing, doing our own things, but being together. Okay, would that work for you, Belinda, or is that too early? No, because you're here. <laughs> what do you think? I need to add something to the front of this. It's going to have to go in the to-be-continued bin. Okay, so February 1st, let's write this down, nice and big. Uh, big black marker. February 1st, 1 o'clock p.m. Central. And it's a Zoom. So I have to learn how to set one up so that we can all be there together and playing. Right, right. Well, you are welcome to join us if you've got time. And if it works good, maybe we'll do this like once a month or something. something like that so i will learn to do that by february 1st and i will send out the invitations i don't know if i have to do it by email or not i will learn all this stuff and i will let you know what i find out so let's just do a quick look at these envelopes I think we're just going to play, Jan. Just do whatever we do. Okay, yeah, I know it's dark, but it's easier for you guys to see. So that's envelope number one. I have to separate it in two sizes. Sure. Yeah, I think you can come in and just do audio, Andrea. I will keep you guys informed on here. I will talk about it. Uh, 
and we will figure it out. I really like the way these bright red target things went. <laughs> Bold and brilliant. Making a statement. Oh, you're welcome. The more the merrier. And the cool thing is, I don't know. Andrea, I'm not sure yet. We've got a couple of weeks before the first. I'm going to learn everything I need to know about it. And I will post all the information in my community tab on here as soon as it's official now. <laughs> it's in your calendar. Perfect. Um, I'll post it in there. And if people need to give me their email addresses, I will uh, put that in and you can contact me through Messenger and Facebook so that, you know, it's not out there in for everybody to see, if that makes sense. You're welcome. You're welcome. Oh, wrong side. You know what? I love these. I love doing these. I have so much fun. And they're very eclectic. See, this one I had started before. Like I put that other one in my to finish pile. This one had some gold paint stencil thing there. Oh, okay. Very, very, very pale blue circles. I like the way the red stars are. They showed up much nicer than the green ones. But everything's different, right? Like, nobody else is going to be sending out an envelope exactly like this. And nothing's going to fall off and damage any postal machines. The, if you dye them with tea before you mark them, Jan, you may have to put tape down on the glue, like backwards. Some masking tape, put it down on the glue if you want to keep the glue available, if that makes sense. Because as soon as you get them wet, that glue is going to activate and it may seal the entire envelope on you, right? The other thing you could do is just spritz them. Make a cup of tea or a pot of tea or coffee and put it in one of these spritz bottles and then spritz the envelope. <laughs> I know that for a fact too, Anne. See, even just with the paint, it can be a little bit sticky, but that's okay. We're good. All right, so I have envelopes. On Tuesday, we're also going to make be making some pockets with envelopes. You can leave them plain um, because you're going to be decorating them the way you want them to go with whatever journal you're putting them in. I would also like if you've done a... <laughs> yes, experience is everything. I would also... Oh, I have to block the camera. Turn that light back on. You know how we get the flare from it to begin? There we go. Um, so we're going to be doing some pockets with envelopes. So if you want to uh, spritz them with coffee, stamp them, brush them with coffee, whatever, let me know. Yeah, a little too humid and they just seal themselves. So I'd like to be using... If you've made master boards, bring bits of your master board along for decorating and for 
uh, stabilizing. And the same thing with snippet strips. Bring some along if you've got them. If you don't have them, that's fine. You can always decorate later. But I'd, I'd kind of like to show you how I use my master boards when I'm making pockets and how I use the uh, snippet strips on pockets. If that makes sense, bring what you got. Okay, envelopes are done. I'm going to put those, oh my goodness, over there. And we're going to take a look at this stuff. We are going to take a look at this fun stuff. You can see those rings on this. I'm going to leave it just like that. This, I am going to take an orange marker. Oh, do I, does dry erase markers work on paint? I love a good master board too. We made master boards a couple of weeks ago. And I've already chopped mine up into various things like ATCs and tags and stuff. If you don't want to use your original master board, then I suggest you make a photocopy of it. My printer does, uh, it scans. I've got them here. I did a few of my master boards. Where are they? They're in here. I just have them in my hand. The other day. Anyway, I chopped up master boards. I printed them. I chopped them up. And that way I'm not using my originals. Because some of this stuff that we're going to be using them for, an original master board can be a little thick. You don't have to print them. But I will give you options for what is too thick. I'm just going to make marks on these things because I'm going to be using them for flowers and stuff. Like those flowers Jean and I did. And even if I'm doing wobble cuts. Today's just a mark making day, guys. Just a mark making day. Because we're not wasting anything here. All right, let's rip this up. I'm not sure if any of you guys played along or not. This, I'm just going to rip in half and I'm throwing it in my muck bin beside me. I like my... Uh, those kinds of things to add to that. They make great little cluster bits. Oh, thank you, Andrea. So again, in certain lights, you can see those marks I just put on that orange. You know, this is gonna make some very interesting wobble cut flowers. I try not to waste anything, guys. I really do, and you know that. Seriously, when I cleaned my desk off and I filled that bin with all those bits, this I'll just throw in the garbage when I can find my garbage. Um, I've got stuff stacked on it right now. <laughs> Surprise! Yeah, I, I really try not to waste anything. I'm leaving this one just the way it is because that is just going to make some incredible, incredible flowers. But I am going to rip this into pieces. Yep, that tray's getting full, but I have three glasses of muck water sitting on my bathroom sink waiting to be dribbled on something. I also use that water when I edge things quite often.
So this, like I say, I'm going to cut flowers out of it, but I'm probably going to end up with quite a piece left. That will make a lovely vase base for one of the floral collages. This this print I'm, it was an unintentional win. Muck water, my swamp. No, you know when you are painting and you dip your brush, you clean it off in a cup of water? I save that water and I use it for dribbling on my papers or I use it to edge things or I will uh, put it in a spritz and spritz the paper with it. It's a very, very minor color. I just call it muck water because, you know, it doesn't need to go down the drain. Oh, awesome, Deshi. Dozing is good. See, look, I'm, that thing beside me is filling up. But that's okay. I will... Uh, Go and get one of my cups of muck water and, and drizzle on that. These will make look. Oh, I didn't mark this one. What are we going to mark this one? I'm not going to use the dry erase marker. How about a red gel pen? Going to turn off the car? Okay. And how about if we just do wobble lines, wobble lines all the way down that, like stripes. I'm just getting papers ready for as collage fodder. This just kind of saves me a step. Dozing sounds nice, yeah. My problem is that lately that I will fall asleep and doze for maybe 15, 20 minutes in the evening, and then I'm awake till 2 in the morning. Like, what the heck is that? Silly body. I'm telling you. Telling you, telling you. So I do try and keep busy so that I don't doze because even though I do that, I am still awake at 6 in the morning. So I just scribbled kind of down them. Those will make lovely flowers. This I am not going to do anything with. These are going to make absolutely fun leaves. I'm just going to tear off the white Add it to this bin beside me. So what do you guys have planned for the rest of the day? I think I'm going to make some of those fun flowers. Since I did that black and white mark thing yesterday. This one. I can get some really fun stems out of that. I think that's good. So that's just going to stay the way it is. This one's definitely staying the way it is. This was another uh, unintentional, lovely piece. Oh, is that shredding? You're not sure what we're doing? Okay. I did the envelopes. I finished doing the envelopes. So my envelopes are all done, ready to go with mail in them now. So when I did the brayer offs, and sometimes I had some paint with a pattern left on that plastic bag, I pulled it like a gel print. So I've got the brayer offs and these print things 
And I'm just going through them and deciding what, oh, thank you, what I'm going to exactly, exactly, Jan. And sometimes I don't want to come down here in the middle of the night because it's cold. So I'm deciding what these are going to be. We did some wonderful fantasy flowers a uh, week ago Friday, I think it was. So I'm going to definitely make some more fantasy flowers. I do a lot of floral collage. So I, I like, you know, getting them ready so I can just use them as collage fodder. This I'm going to leave. I'm just cleaning up my scrap is what I'm doing. And this one, I'm just going to leave the way it is. I'm not going to add anything to it because it will make lovely flowers, whether I'm doing the wobble cups or the fantasy flowers. And in fact, that could even be, again, a lovely vase for one of my uh, florals. Do I have a floral card handy that I can show you? I do. I do. I do. Oh, somebody's legs are sticking out here. Who are you? Get out of there. You don't live there. Wrong pile, guys. I need to go through my stuff. So I do these floral collages with my gel prints. So I, I use, you know, the vase. I hand cut all the flowers and the leaves and everything so that's what i'm doing right now is i'm deciding what's and then you know i i quite often use it as an atc background or maybe a monster or a robot or you know when i'm when i'm doing critters because if you look at the texture on this, that would make an awesome Goonie Bird, that texture. So I'm, I'm just deciding what I need to add more marks onto. Like this one, I'm going to leave as it is. I can use it both for leaves and I could use it for florals. I'm leaving this one as it is because it'll be for leaves. that makes sense so I'm just getting this stuff cleaned up so that it's ready to use and then I'm just these torn off bits I'm throwing into this bin and I'm gonna go and get a thing of muck water and I'm going to drizzle it and show you what I mean because I grunge that stuff up again for collages okay so this is, and even this blue I would use for flowers. But, you know, I use it for frames. I use it for flowers. I use it for my fish. I use it for chickens. I use it for so many different things. So many different things. that on top. Rip, rip. Wrong rip. Doesn't matter because you know. <laughs> I use audiobooks for that. I put an audiobook on. Maybe a monster. <laughs> oh, thank you, Andrea. I went on a monster bait making binge. We did blind monsters, blind painting for monster bodies. And I made over a hundred monsters. So what I did was I had scraps of paper. I already chopped them up into smaller pieces. And then I put a plate over my paintbrush, a styrofoam plate. So I put a hole in it, and so I had the plate around so I couldn't see what I was doing. And so I scribbled paint onto 
the paper, not seeing what it looked like. And then I made monsters out of it. So this is like a monster for under the bed. Uh oh, somebody just flew away. And then I doodled on them. This also is a monster under the bed. <laughs> awesome. All because of me. I'm sorry, Anne. See, I can't read before bed because I've got a thing with my eyes. I've got a lot of black floaters and it gets in the way of if reading print, like the black on the white, I can't read books anymore. So I can only read on my tablet. So yeah, I have over a hundred of these and they're all different. Thanks, Dusty. So yeah, I've got like, oh, and that's just one of the tags that we did. I don't know why it's in my monsters. So am I being a bad influence, Anne? I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, I have bins, bins of monsters. I have bins of all kinds of things. Because I can't just make one. Uh oh, somebody just fell down. Anyway, <laughs> because, oh yeah, I know. I, I know. I, I like to inspire. That, that's my reason for living, I think. You use a yellow light when you read? That's awesome. So, yeah. So I, I keep all this and then I cut critters and whatever out of it. Okay, I've got this big thing of pink. What are we going to use on this pink? I think I want to do curls. Sharpie? What about this? This is a Bic. And what, what does that look like? Ooh, I like it. I'm just going to do a whole bunch of little circles all over. Sorry if I'm boring you guys. I just appreciate you being here while I'm doing my thing. Just celebrating your word choice. Love people with actual vocabularies. Yes. Doodler? Is that squeaky marker bothering anybody? I kind of like that sound. I am a child. I, I admit it. Because if you don't have fun doing what you're doing, what's the point in doing it? Okay, so I did some of that. Because if I'm doing these cards... Seriously, I use hole punch holes. You never bored here? Oh, thanks, Dawn. I use hole punch holes as well. Like, <laughs> it's who I am, right? Okay, so we did that. Let's try this pink. Excited. Okay, I get excited, but when I say I'm excited, yeah, no, I get what you mean. I do. I do. Let's do some lines just like this. These don't show up very well, but that's okay. In fact, they don't really show up well at all. I'm just winging it because I can't see them, but the way this light's coming down. I do another roll in there. Wow, that's like just really tone on tone. Can you see them? Very, very faint. You love those little flowers? Which little flowers? I have, 
You've seen me bobble cut, guys. You, you know. You know. That one's upside No, it's not upside down. Just can't see that vase. I'm going to have to do something. Can't shift that. Look. Another uh, freeloader. So I found. This one actually I sewed on. This one too. I found that if I put them through the printer and I print them on um, photo paper, they come out absolutely incredibly. Remember when I went on the mask making binge? <laughs> ah, thanks. I just like to play seriously. This, I just hope that I inspire you guys to play, you know? I'm not sure that's going to show up either. Oh, no, it doesn't. Maybe I'll find a nice thin, let's just use a black gel pen. A mask! Yes! <laughs> no, I want a gel pen. You think? There we go. There's a gel pen. Now, where did those lines move off? All right. And also, what I found, what was I doing? When I was doing one of my snippet strips, I was using, is it here? I have to look. Give me a sec. Nope, keyboard. Don't you dare fall. Stay there. When I was doing the snippet strips, remember when I was talking to you guys? Yeah, I haven't made masks in a while either. So when we, I was getting you guys to do the doodling on the book pages, look at how fun that is in the snippet strips. So yeah, um, <laughs> we just have to play. Uh, someone may need to bail you out of ATC jail. Blanks, you bought some or not three. Oh, just short of both measurements. Not excited. <laughs> yep. Because I cut my own, I'm sure that some of them might be a little a hair short, but nothing... Really, really bad. Okay, Kim, you're getting, you're doing scribbles now. Let's not scribble. Let's do the spirals. Focus, focus, focus. All right. Need some more marks. Need some more marks. Let's use a white gel pen. You've never made the coins? I have. Surprise! I haven't traded them, though. Again, I am just doing some stuff because... It just makes it easier when I'm doing those floral things. When I have to stop and make marks, because don't forget, I shade them and everything. So if I've got marks on them without having to putz around, it just makes it easier. Yeah, I have a bin of blank ATCs beside me. 
this swap, I actually asked the lady that I'm swapping with if she wanted to do a theme, which I should know better. Um, so she wanted to do sunsets. And I looked through my bin of cut ATC blanks and I don't have anything that resembles a sunset. An ATC coin is a two-inch circle decorated the way you would do an ATC. Oh, yes, and for the pockets, if you don't have any papers that you want to use for pockets, use book pages. We're going to use book pages. They're great to practice on. Yeah, mine are probably about that bit off too, and I'll be honest. I will be honest. You're welcome. You'll probably just use scraps. Yeah. Scraps are good. Just remember to have some scraps that we can use for backing because if the paper is too thin, your pockets may rip. So sometimes it's good to glue a couple of pages together. Okay, that's not tearing. It's too thin. It's okay. It can stay where it is till I use it. Look at these lovely papers I've got. All right, so those are going to go in my painty paper bin over here. I was just looking at this. Look at how nice that is. I wonder if I could pull that. Let's get it wet. What time is Tuesday? Um, Tuesday afternoon. I go live at 12.45 Central. That's, that's because I like to say, going live at 12.45. So don't ask. <laughs> anyway, that's the time I like to go live is 12.45 p.m. And I, I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. Tuesdays are now... Uh, We've got them planned for what we want to do. <laughs> oh, you're a convict now? Oh, no. I haven't sewn through acetate. I've sewn through a lot of strange things, though. <laughs> I really have to get my sewing machine fixed. Okay. Okay. I got it wet. I'm hoping that I can pull this because this is just like, look at the texture that will be. I want to use it just the way it is if it pulls the way I hope. We can hope. <laughs> I'll grant you asylum. Oh, that was very wet. That's okay. Awesome. We're doing pockets. Tuesdays is all about pockets. We're going to fold some pockets. We're going to make some pockets. We're going to decorate some pockets. It's all about pockets. It did nothing. I will have to put paint on that to pull it. Okay. Good to know. I'll do that another time. All right. Hey, Jean, how you doing? Nice to see you. It's really cold there, too? Yeah. It's cold here today. Did you get much snow, Jean?
we got quite a bit of snow. We really did. All right. I can't resist. Grab the book pages. I'm going to make some fantasy flowers. No? We got a fair bit. We got a fair bit. Scissors. <laughs> we'll all send our happy mail there. Okay, see, I'm chopping it up already. I want to make some fantasy flowers. Since I'm here, you will have the prettiest sale. We'll all send you uh, mail. Now, I found a use for these, these little corner things. Shows on Wednesday at three. Why not? That would be awesome. Yeah, I came up with a use for these little triangle things. Am I going to start keeping those now? Mm. Don't know. Don't know. Milk the cow once, only once, to alert it to the hay. Oh, yeah, I bet it would scare the bejeez out of them if your lips turned to blue. Wobble cut in here. The wobble cut. Nothing better than fresh milk, though. I sure wish we could still get fresh milk. Something about watching that cream, you know. <laughs> You're allergic to the cow, too? Oh, no. Take some of this orange. I think I'm going to do something like this. Almost like a, not a tulip. I really like those ziggy zaggy lines on that. That's fun. It's fun. It's fun. So I have to figure out what I want to do with these flowers as well. I was going to put them on my snippet strip. But then I decided that I didn't want my snippet strips to be all single directional. That's why these other ones I made can go either way. Very, very rich. <laughs> you wrote a Brahma bull once? Oh no. Oh no. 
put one more flower on here. Put this orange. It's like a piece of dark orange. What kind of flower do I want to do? I appreciate you guys being here and keeping me company while I play now. Just kind of in the zone a little bit. Let's go like this. Like that. Like that. That's an interesting flower. You can pretend to be very rich. Yeah, that would be nice. I don't want to be very rich. I don't want to be able to... Uh, if I wanted to go and buy a new sewing machine, that I could just walk out the door and pick it up without... <laughs> and lawyer... Lava runs with Mary. Nice. Awesome. All right. I've dragged you guys down my ruddy rabbit hole again. Home of the messy desk and the rabbit holes. <laughs> All right. We've got some uh, fantasy flowers on the page. Let's uh, make them fun. Do I want to just use marker for these ones as well? I think so. Let's just put a piece of... We'll use this wet paper that didn't pick up the print that I had hoped it would. Let's do the stem. Um, let's give this one some leaves that go up and like this. Then we can do a stem. Now, I learned my lesson because I cut them out. I don't even know where I put them, but I cut them out. I fuzzy cut around these skinny thin, thin leaves that I did. We're not doing skinny thin leaves because my word, whose idea was that? I don't know. I'm even making the stem a little thicker because really guys, I don't know what I was thinking. We need a huge studio. We need a playroom where everybody can come and play. We really do. We really, really do. Gonna have to find a project to use these fun flowers on. You're back with your coffee? Awesome. I went down a rabbit hole, Belinda. And I know that won't surprise you either. Uh, journal, uh, which journal I have, I think I'm up to 12 on the go. <laughs> you are you thinking the um, one on the old day planner?
Central heat is important. What led Kim down a rabbit hole? Well, Kim was marking these things, right? And then all of a sudden, Kim decided that she needed to make a few of those fantasy flowers because I don't have enough. But I did learn something about the other fantasy flowers I did. When you've got skinny little leaves like this, don't do them below because when you fussy cut them out, that is stupid. Yep, I said stupid. It's stupid. Because I did that. I have a whole stack of flowers still to cut out because I did those skinny little leaves and ill-advised. Ill-advised. Yeah, so Kim's down the rabbit hole. Because that's just what happens. I was going to go and get the muck water and do those things. I don't know how we got on the idea of the fantasy flowers. Look at these lovely little scraps. We're just going to shove them over here. All right. How are we going to decorate these flowers? We could use, look what I did. Can you see? I have a bin of confetti. <laughs> yeah, I think I do too. I think that that's highly likely. Look, I've got all kinds of little bits in here. We're going to add some spots to uh, one of these. Lid. I need a lid. Woo. See? Look how fast that was. I cleaned them up. I know where they are. Put some glue that down. Grab a toothpick. And we're going to put some polka dots on somebody. Look, I've got lots of purple polka dots. They'll look lovely on the orange. I have fun down my rabbit hole. I admit. You gotta have fun when you're playing. You just gotta, guys. You just it's an important thing. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking more like the rabbit hole in Alice in Wonderland. I could be Tweedledum or Tweedledee. I have a rabbit hole passport. I do. I do. Here's where the whole punch confetti comes in. I like it. And I think this might need... No. I think that's good for adding on for that. I think the rest is going to just have to be... Fuzzy, I'd make a great rabbit. Well, I don't know. I can be a pretty mean rabbit, maybe a badger. A permanent resident there. True. True. I I have to admit I love it down the rabbit hole. Okay, so first things first, I have to add that leaf back that I just covered with that dot. We're going to start outlining. I'll start over here. And we should give this one some petals like this. Okay. 
And maybe like that. I like it. Then we're going to take a dark pencil crayon. What I'm going to use this one. It is raspberry. And we're going to add some shadowing to this flower. So that petal's on top. That petal's on top. And, okay, so the center gets shadowed. We need some shading at the bottom. And if we go up the sides, it should make it look like it's a little bit round in shape. And we're going to outline these spots. This is a leopard flower. <laughs> I've decided it's got a name. Who's Big Meanies? You ready for a nap? If you need a nap, Teresa, you should just give in to it because you haven't been well and it's still your body saying you need to do this. Okay, so kind of like that flower the way it is. I am going to add some white. You are not a Crayola. You belong over there. I have a tendency to love Crayola markers because they do cover paint nicely. And let's put some stripes or something on the stem and the leaves. Let's pull like this. And the leaves. Look, I'm starting on the left side. Not dragging my hand through. ink. I like it. Not sure I'm going to add anything to this flower because I really kind of like all the different colors on it. I might take some of the colors and deepen some of the areas. Like I'll go around the orange with a, an orange. Just so that it kind of looks a little bit shadowy. And then I've got this lovely glue. Just enhance that blue just a little bit because it's fun. I can add a little bit over here too. That's a very interesting fantasy flower. Okay. Let's add something to the leaves. Let's put white down the center the leaves and stems this time. Show a little bit of highlight. And then we'll doodle on them. Frames? Frames. Frames. Wait, where are we? <laughs> oh, you can take all my time. Oh, it's big enough you could uh, have fun with that. I could. I could cut frames around them if I didn't put them so close. Hey, Beth, welcome, welcome. <laughs> no, 
No rabbit hutches. Oh, put them in a vase and frame it? Maybe. I don't know what I want to do with them. I'm just having fun making them. Surprise! Mr. Pope, these things look round circle and dot things. Because we can. I'm on a, a funky flower kick bath. Fantasy flowers, whatever. That's the leaves. What are we going to do for the stem? What about if we just do lines like this for the stem? Flower number two. Ah, oh, thanks, Beth. Flo is also Andrea. Let's really confuse this. Flo is and Andrea. As well. <laughs> Oh, thanks, Dusty. This is something you can do with those gel print scraps. Make flowers. Make flowers. Fun flowers. Fantasy fun flowers. Not sure what I want to do with this. Not sure what I want to do with that flower. Maybe we'll start by following the wobble lines with black. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that was a good idea. That was a good idea. I think that's kind of cute. Limited by your imagination, guys. And the cool thing is, if you don't like it, it's only paper. Trash cans right beside me. That's kind of fun. And then, oh, you know what would be fun? Let's give it like a loopy edge. That's going to be a pain in the you-know-what to cut out. But it's okay. I don't have to cut it exact. And then, let's take a orange marker and put dots in each of those little loopy things. Oh, yeah, 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 guys. I'll show you. Give me a second and I'll show you. I like it. I like it like that. Oh, and you know what else? Look. Focus. Thank you. Green wobble lines. Oh, green wobble lines would be fun. You still got errands to run? Yeah. You know what, Dusty? It's because you need a different focus. If you were doodling while you were listening to an audiobook, chances are you would be able to do it without a problem. You could go like this. Because I need something really pain in the butt to cut out. And we're going to fill those in with orange.
He's fine. Okay, stems and leaves. I think these leaves are just going to get nice white lines. Like that. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I want to do for the stem. Um, let's wobble line it. Just a wobbly line. I like it. Like that. Cut around them with an edge. Well, I was doing that. And then I realized that because the way I've placed some of them, I don't have text under it. So if I leave the edge and there's no text, it doesn't look the same as the ones that do have text. So I fussy cut them out. I, I cut out, you know, because I wasn't thinking. If you had a copy of Wat Hun, But do you need a copy of Yeah, some white around these would be okay. Of my flowers. If I sent it to you in Messenger, a picture of them. Um do you have a printer that you could use to cut them? because I could send them to you in Messenger that way. Okay, I'll send you a picture of... Oh, mess. I won't cut them out. I will just send, I'll just throw this on the scanner thing and, and send it. Does that work? A hand T? Tear. A hand tear. A hand tear? Okay, Beth, I will, I will do that after my live. After I finish doodling these, because I have to, because I was going to show you how I pour muck water on my scraps to age them. And I think we're just going to put some white dots down here, because I goofed and... We just could put my dots all over this orange. Because when I was dotting the purple. <laughs> we'll just do some lines up like that. Like that. Yeah, never steep one's hand in boiling water. <laughs> no, 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 no. So these long skinny leaves up here, I'm just going to draw a single line down the center of them because that works for me. And what do we want to do with these leaves? Maybe we'll do stripes up and down them like this.
So these are so simple, but so fun to do, guys. You know what else we haven't done in a while is buildings. We haven't done any buildings. All right. I'm calling these guys done. Give me kittens. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Perfect. I will put those aside. I will scan them and send them. Anybody else want them while I'm doing it? Because it will be nothing to do it if anybody else wants them. They look like candy. They do. Six beer rocks and ten envelopes so far. Awesome. And okay. Dusty, okay. Uh, Dusty, I don't know if I've got you on Messenger. Um, I wonder if I could scan it and put it in my community tab. And then you guys can just grab them. What do you think? Anybody? Anybody know if that works? Okay, let me write that down. And then I will look for you. Pen. Pen. I'll take this piece of scrap. Oh, no, I've got one over here. Okay, I will look for you. All right, all right, all right. I will do that. Okay, so this is this is my muffin, right? This is how I make these these grungy scraps for these collage things. Oh, hey, you should be in there. You don't have anything else on, right? It's how I make these grungy scraps, right? You almost said excited. Ooh. <laughs> so I've got a bin. And I've, as I said, I, I use my paint muck water that I, I save it. And then I pour it on. So I'm going to go grab, grab a container. Okay. So this is just blue. I don't even know if it's acrylic or if it's watercolor. I'm not worried. You've made whimsical houses? Awesome. I love doing houses and buildings. And I just sprinkle. And it runs and flows and pools and it's okay because you get what you get and it doesn't matter what you get I don't know if we're going to do fairy houses or my other buildings maybe we'll do that next Sunday we could do buildings next Sunday and I know, but the thing is, because it's muck water, it's going to dry really pale, unless it's a nice deep pool like that. Yeah, I, I saved my muck water. And see, I've got all kinds of paint still at the bottom. I'm going to go add more water to that and let it sit. And because I can. So I've drizzled with the blue, I've drizzled with a pink, I've drizzled with a grayish blackish thing. And then you just take them and you pull them apart and mix them up. You do this a few times. Oh, hey, what are you? I have no idea where this dude came from. Must be some kid's book, but look, he's getting pretty grungy. 
that's fine. Um, and of course, when we were playing with doing the envelopes, I stamped some of them like with the uh, stamps. So I'll do that a couple of times too. See, there's, hey, look, there's one of my uh, painted roses. <laughs> anyway, so you, you do that until it's sufficiently grungy and it makes you happy. So like I said, I will come back in with a paint stamp and just stamp on top, you know, just stamp wherever. Not everything will get a stamp on it. What are we doing? Spread matte medium. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Very happy sort of person. I don't think I have anything Tim Holtz, unless my friend got it for me at a thrift store. I really don't think I've got anything Tim Holtz. So were you thinking fairy houses or buildings, Belinda? I was thinking buildings. Like these kind. Belinda? Just buildings? Yes, no? Yeah, from paper scraps. Gee, surprise. Yep. I mean, we could do fairy houses. We could, we could do a variety of buildings if you wanted. Let's just do buildings. What is this box? This is the Kimbit box. This has envelopes full of stuff that I make using collage and focal points and And, you know, it's, it's the bits box. <laughs> Whose story? Timmy in the attic. Is that a real story? And then my... Uh, Doing dragonflies and my skinny cats. These ones I actually have a, a template for. I do them all the same way. These ones are page tabs and they're all hand cut. Then, of course, my little fish. I'm low on fish, I have to decorate some fish. I could do a ghost on them. Then I've got some like clustery things. This one says gone fishing. My love bugs. I make love bugs. So you write the word love. You fold a piece of paper in half, you write the word love, and then you cut around it and you turn it into bugs. So sometimes you print it, sometimes you write it. And then, of course, my bookworms. Then I've got just some monster heads. 
just the heads, not the rest of them. And chickens. I got lots of chickens. I had chickens to many things. Anyway, that's my bits box. <laughs> Thanks, Andrea. I like to play. I like to play. <laughs> Didn't add worm. <laughs> you want him? Where, where did he go? Critters. Send her critters, Kim. But, and this isn't including like my Goonie birds or anything. That one? Teresa? If I scan him in with the flowers, Teresa, do you want him? A tin man worm? I can show you guys how to do worms. We'll have to have a worm day. Next Sunday is buildings. I have to write this down. Sunday is buildings. I have a scrap of paper. I'm boxed in here again. How about the following Sunday we do worms? Okay. Flowers and worms definitely go together. I could put a couple of these worms because that those flowers are going to take up a whole scanner thing. I could put a couple of them in. This one's got glasses on. Ha <laughs> worm day. Yeah, we'll 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 have a worm day. And I got little ones. She was one of my first ones that I did, so she's not very exciting. Anyway, I'll throw a couple of bookworms under the under the uh, flowers when I scan them. Oh, thanks, Beth. You know what? I just like to play. And then I get all this stuff, and I never use it. I think some of these need kind of like a blurb, like, have you read your quote of pages today or whatever, right? I did use one in a journal. And what I did was, if this was the journal page and it was folded, I put the worm across the fold so that one half had the worm and one half had the tail. And then, of course, there were all other pages between. Worldwide Worm Day. You heard it here first, folks. Something to get excited about. I love unusual as well. I love unusual. October 21st is Worm Day USA. Really? Is that real? I love unusual as well. Okay, I'm go like I said, I'm going to try, I'm going to scan it and put it under my community tab. And if I can't put it under the community tab, I will shoot it to a messenger. Deworming day. No, let's not think about that. <laughs> you looked it up. That's awesome. That is awesome. So it would be something like this, I think. I could do it like this. Whoa. Something like that. So that you've got enough room to, uh, that'll fit on paper. Look, it fits on the paper. We're good. We're good. Deworming day. It could get smelly. All right, guys. It's been two hours and 40 minutes. I am going to let you guys go. 
Thank you very much for being here. Florid, Florid Day. Cool. Cool, cool. Thank you all for being here. I hope I have inspired you guys to play with something. Jan is playing away. I like to, you know. Will you post in uh, Meet Your Creativity, Jan? I don't know if she's here. Oh, no, you didn't make it. Oh, sorry, Janet. Thanks, Dawn. Nice. I like to be somebody's company. All right. As I say, I am going to scan these. I am going to put them on my community tab. If not, um, I will send them in Messenger. Yeah. We missed you, Janet. And so if you don't get it either way, let me know and I will figure something out here. Take care, everybody. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Hugs to you all. I appreciate you and I hope I inspired. Let's see if I know where my cursor is today. Ah, got it. All right, guys. Take care. Don't forget, Tuesday is pocket day and I'll hope to see you then. Bye now.